Thanks, Bill and Bob. This is uh, Marv Berkeley here. I'm here with our resident expert in how to draw people to Jesus. His name is Daryl uh, Hendrickson. Daryl, I'm so glad to have you with us today. Would you mind telling us just a little bit about how you draw people to Jesus? Do I mind? Of course I don't mind. Drawing people to Jesus is something that every Christian should do. And I should know because I'm one of the best Christians that, uh, well, that I know. And I, oh, Daryl, there's a... Uh... keeping it down, we're trying to do an interview here. <laughs> Sorry about that. You might want to double bag it next time. So, you know, in all my years of being a Christian, oh. I have oh, yeah. dreamed of going out onto the streets and, and talking to people one-on-one. -on -one. Well, maybe not too close because sometimes the streets can be quite filthy and I wouldn't want to get this dirty, so... Daryl, she needed a bit of uh, help back there. I don't know if you noticed or not, but her... Oh, her well, it looks like someone helped her, so that's great. Good, uh, good for them. Well, hey, listen, as... Uh, as I was saying, we're doing a couple interviews today. Why not, ma'am? Ma'am, would you do you have a moment? Do we have to? Oh, do... please, please, please. Listen, oh. we're, we're here. We're here on a live local news, and we're we're just interviewing a few people um, oh. Oh. Uh, about how to draw people to Jesus. You know, it's an awfully cold day out today. Uh, I, I I certainly hope you've bundled up warm enough. Uh, Are you doing okay? It's very cold. I brought my gloves, uh -huh. but I forgot. My scarf, oh. my neck is cold. Oh. I see that. <laughs> no, I don't have... What? Luck. Oh, great, Daryl's got it. Can you hold this for me? Yes, yeah, certainly. It's heavy. Certainly. A lot of Bible there. <laughs> yeah. Good. What luck. Glad to see you're always ready to help a fellow citizen. That's excellent. Yeah, well, I didn't want to... You reminded me. <laughs> Definitely don't want to end up like this one. You know, another rule of being a Christian... Always be prepared. You see... Being a Christian is more than just, you know, reading the Bible. Of course, I've done it more than anyone I know. But thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. This lady obviously didn't prepare much, and uh, maybe she's not praying enough or something. Because you figured she would have had a scarf been outside in the cold. Huh? Yeah. I see someone helped you. That's that's nice. Yes, that's really... no, no, thanks to you. Okay. Well, I'm nice and warm. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's uh, this is kind of like my my thing going on here. I mean, I'm doing an interview, so an interview. Yeah, maybe you could do, do. Oh. <laughs> scattle along. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh. So you know, why don't we talk about me some more? <laughs> uh, I have a large Bible. Uh, this is one of the things that I always hey, make sure I have. Back, a large Bible. <laughs> you see, you can never be too prepared. You see, you've always got to be alert. Always be on the lookout for danger. Um, and, and having a big Bible, um, oh! well, it makes me look more studious and more alert. Like a Christian who knows what he's Miss, talking about and always... Miss, Miss, Daryl, did me, you see? I am trying did to... Did you see what just happened? What? This man, this, this, this man was just robbed! I was just talking to the camera about being alert in worry. all situations. Don't worry. No, I'll be, right I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. What happened? Hey, yeah, I knew it. What's going oh, on here? Get out of there! Oh, oh, you're gonna get hurt doing that. What? What are you doing? Miss. Oh, oh miss. That was. Oh. That I'm was so awful. I, I can't you. believe I just saw that. Thank you. Sir, what did, why did you? You just tackled that man. Did you just let this thief get away with her stuff? You're supposed to I be was telling him about people to my Jesus. Bible, how big it was, and how you should be alert at all times. You're kidding me. Well, how's my hair, by the way? Your hair looks terrible now. I need to go. So. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, don't forget your. Uh, don't forget your cake batter. Now, having a large Bible uh, shows people that you're better. <laughs> what is going on? You know, this is this is the important thing. Oh my! Good grief! Oh, keep it away from me! Keep it away from me! Don't let it get on me! Help oh. me! Oh! Oh! Oh, that was awful! Oh, you should definitely be more careful as to where you walk you around. A okay? giant bear! Oh, this woman is definitely not having a good day. Maybe she should go to church. I thought, I thought you were an expert in drawing people to Jesus. 
I'm left. trying to tell them how to be better Christians. You've left this poor woman, her groceries, they fell. She was a, a victim of robbery. She was attacked by a vicious animal. She was called, and you didn't, you didn't give her your scarf. What? Did, did I break her bag of groceries or rob her or, God forbid, a giant summon giant bears? Sir! Who, who picked this location hey, anyway? You have this Bible! Yes, it's rather you, large, isn't it? You say you're this big, great Christian? I do say so. You're not acting like a Christian. Ooh. I've never seen you at my church. And I have one thing to say to you, and it's this. Oh, my, my hair! You see, Bill and Bob, uh, <laughs> drawing people to Jesus, it's, it's not about how much you, you know about the Bible, it's not about uh, how, how good of a Christian you look like, it's about uh, reaching out to others, it's about what Jesus did. When, when he walked the earth, he, he helped those who were, who were poor, uh, when people who were sick, he reached out to them and he healed them. And if people were in need, like this poor old woman here was, he, he, he would have lent a hand. And uh, that's what we do today. We help draw people to Jesus by, by acting the way Jesus would have us act. By helping those in need. And by being there for others when they, they truly need us. Now, I'm so sorry about uh, this Daryl character here. I was told he was, he was an expert, but... Uh, Obviously, I, I've been misinformed, so, so I, I, hope, uh, I, I hope you've learned something today, despite uh, everything that went on here. <laughs> um, so again, this is, uh, this is Marv Hendrickson uh, reporting live, and uh, well, Bill and Bob will take, it, uh, will take it back to you guys now. Thanks so much. That lady messed my hair up a little. How's my beard looking? Oh, could this day get any worse? I thought these things weren't supposed to happen to people with big Bibles and nice hair. Oh, can this day get any worse? <laughs>